Hi everyone, it is me, Jordan Long here, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, Team Stronghold Guild hate. Now, Team Stronghold Guild hate seems to be a hatred or guilting or shaming of anyone who's on Team Stronghold Guild. And it mostly seems to be a thing on the interweb. Because in true life, even though folks might scave it, everyone's happy to be on some offshoot of it. You know? But you never have, but do you never have anyone that ever, you know, puts you down or shames you or guilts you for being on it? Oh, you know. So, some folks, you know, got angry at me. When I was on Team Stronghold Guild, well, everyone's on some offshoot of Team Stronghold Guild, Sailor Moon. Either it be the withdrawal one that you got to yield into from years of working, the handicap one, which you only get if you work for so many years and there's truth that you're, you've been wounded or ill for some time and you can't work, and it's a whole lawful thing to get onto that. And then there's Team Stronghold Guild Income Help, which it is a lawful thing to get on, but you don't need to have a work yesteryear. And then there's Team Stronghold Guild Deceased Bearer Income, income, which you A, have to have, you have to, one of your bearers, your mother, your father, would have to have died, and they would have to be the main income maker and now you're going to be at a downside, a bind, since they're no longer alive anymore and bringing in that gout. Yeah, but you always know how folks out there, always, but you're right, Jordan. Does anyone in true life ever shame or guilt anyone for being on it? I mean, I know folks gave it, but does anyone truly guilt or shame anyone for being on it? Or is it only an interweb thing? Or is it only a YouTube or a U way or U side thing? I think it's only an interweb thing. I think only trolls and bullies out there shaming guilt folks for being on something or getting something since they it comes from a stead of anger. Because they're angry that they don't have it. So they want to make you feel ashamed and guilty for A getting something or B something that getting on something which I guess is hard to get on you know anyone can get on withdrawal as long as they have been working for years and been yielding into it and meet the year of withdrawal when it comes to the handicap one yeah you have to have so many years of work you had to yield into those years and you had to have been wounded between those years where you could not work to get it and it's a whole lawful thing. And the income help one, yeah, it's a lawful thing, but you don't need to have any years of any years of work for it. And the and the dead bear one, yeah, your bear has to be dead, and they had to be the one that made the the main income, and you're going to be in a bind now. But I don't think anyone out there, you know, gets angry at anyone for being on any one of those things. I mean, yeah, there probably are folks who lie and get themselves on any one of those ones. Well, you're right, Jordan. There probably are folks who, like, you know, are on, you know, folks who lie to get themselves on the handicap, on the Team Stronghold handicap one. There are probably folks who, I guess, do take the upside and lie about how old they are to get the withdrawal one. And I guess there are folks out there who might be untruthful about how much income they make to get the income help one. And there might be some out there who might be untruthful about, you know, about who died to get, you know, the, the, the dead bear one. But even if there are liars that somehow, you know, lie about that, uh, they're earnest folks to get on it. And they don't do anything wrong and do everything right to get on there. So I think it's only a you a you way. I think it's only a you whole one. 
or you weigh one. I think folks on the interweb, at least on this website, those trolls, bullies, whatever you want to call them, they are just angry that they don't have it or they couldn't get on those ones. So they want to make you feel ashamed that you A, guilt you and shame you for being on any one of those ones. At least that's what I believe, Jordan. Because in true life, I never met anyone that said, oh, you on Team Stronghold Guild? Well, shame on you. Guilt on you. <clears throat> You're right, Sailor Moon. At the end of the day, I never really did meet anyone that got angry at me when they learned I was on Team Stronghold Guild. You know. Well. You know, and you always hear about, and before we end this film, you always hear about folks saying, oh, well, it's going to run out one day. They're going to run out of gold. First off, how are they going to run out of gold if, if the Team Stronghold leadership gets backing through income toll? So how are they going to run out of it? Jordan goes, uh, I don't know how they're going to run out of it, Sailor Moon. I don't know, Jordan, how they're going to run out of something if you're getting income toll each month. If they're getting income toll and some of that goes to back that up and running of that team, how are they going to run out of it? Or is it just bullshit? Oh, I don't know. I think it's just fear striking they do. You know, make folks, you know, not trust it. You know, like that's their, you know, make them think, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't be on it anymore or something like that. Or when they keep saying someone wants to make a, someone, they, they keep saying how there's folks that want to end it, they want to do away with it, they want to do this and that. Yeah. You really believe in that? No, I don't believe in that either. So anyway, if you like this film, that was just me talking with Sailor Moon about Team Stronghold, Team Stronghold, Team Stronghold, uh, Stronghold Team Guild, you know, Team Stronghold Guild hate, if there is a thing called that. Anyway, if you like this film, then follow me over here at the Jordan Long Fairway. Watch the other film I made yesterday over here. I, Jordan... <clears throat> I, Jordan Mulan Long, and I'll see you later. Bye.